The U.S. Department of Energy held its fourth collegiate cyber force competition at Argonne, Brookhaven, Idaho, Lawrence Berkeley, Oak Ridge, Pacific Northwest, and Sandia National Laboratories. Over 60 teams participated in this nationwide competition. Brookhaven Lab hosted teams from five universities and colleges. So this is the first year for Brookhaven Lab to be hosting a CyberForce competition. This is important to the laboratory because it speaks directly to our educational mission and helping to educate researchers of the future, in this case cybersecurity researchers and, and experts that are coming out of colleges today. This annual CyberForce competition is designed to provide hands-on cyber education for college students and professionals in industry and government. My name is Chris Vasquez. Uh, I'm here uh, with, my, with my friends here from uh, Columbia University. Uh, we made the trek all the way from Manhattan. We want to see uh, how these systems work uh, on the fly, get a, a feel for what the security landscape is, the kind of expectations that uh, industry has versus what's being taught at the, at the university. Also to acquire information about uh, opportunities here at Brookhaven and share it with like, the rest of our, our, our group back at the university. These opportunities are rare, they're here, but uh, we want to make sure that everybody has a chance to experience this. Students competed to defend a simulated energy infrastructure from cyber attacks launched by cybersecurity professionals. All right, at 6 o'clock, a really fun time is the burn down time. If you have established persistence, if you are into the box at all, do whatever you need to do to destroy everything on that machine. You want to wreak havoc. You want to let them know that you were in there. And that's, uh, I can't think of a better way to do that than just completely destroying everything that you got. At the event, Students worked from laptops to maintain the security and usability of the cyber infrastructure for a hypothetical oil discovery, exploration, and transportation company. Information technology administrators helped the students set up their infrastructure, and volunteers performed functions of typical system end users. I'm looking to make sure that they that everything is up and running and I was able to log in where required and that I'm able to accomplish the tasks without running into any difficulty. Throughout the day, teams were presented with network anomalies that they had to distinguish from malicious network behavior. A panel of cybersecurity professionals judged the creativity and innovation of the team's defense strategies. My name is Anna Stats. I come from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and I'm here to talk to you about all the different things we're doing to secure the wonderful network you guys have left us with. So the first thing we did was ensure that everyone could authenticate against LDAP. So in order to do this, we implemented a spin-off of Microsoft's Red Forest design, which includes a tiered design with buffer zones. So you have two different forests, an admin and a production forest, and the lower privileged users in the admin forest administer the production forest in a one-way trust which kind of ensures that different security measures can be taken so that they can't go back. This will help them with their schooling because they're getting hands-on experience here at this competition. It will also help them with their job search. Um, the Cyber Fellows Program is to help people get jobs in cybersecurity, and this is a good thing to put on their resume, a huge opportunity. 